I was born in Birmingham in 1997. I have both Ghanaian and English heritage. My first childhood dream was to become a lawyer, but swimming soon changed that initial goal. I started swimming when I was about eight or nine years old with one of my older brothers, who was 13 at the time. He's now a swimming coach. When I was 11, I obtained a scholarship and attended the Royal Wolverhampton School, which focused on both academic and athletic performance. In December 2014, I won a place on British Swimming's World Class Podium Potential Programme. Swimming has opened up the world to me as I get to travel to compete. Some of the places I've visited are Portugal, the Netherlands, Hungary, Qatar, South Korea and Russia. I am a member of the Loughborough University swim team and much of my participation in swimming has been sponsored by UK Sport but always supported by my mum who made many sacrifices, including her sleep, to take me to and from training for many years during which time I've been willing to get up at 4.30am every day for practice. Some years ago I was thinking about quitting. I missed out on so many parties and other things and I wondered whether it was worth it. Now I know it is. But it is a lifestyle. It's a big choice. Swimming is a sport that doesn't rest. When I was in secondary school, that was when I really began to break through. I saw the potential I had as an athlete, so I kept going. I get enjoyment from it. I have the experience of winning and meeting many people, some of whom have become good friends. When I was 16, I qualified for European juniors in Portugal, completing 10 kilometres in unexpectedly cold and trying conditions. It challenged me, but it didn't deter me. The next race I entered, I won. It was July 2016. I won the 10 kilometre gold at the World Junior Open Water Champion in Horn, in the Netherlands, with a sprint finish. I was the first British swimmer to win gold at a World Junior Open Water Championship, which cemented my position on the World Marathon swimming stage. I have a great sense of achievement from swimming, even including the training now, but also getting a PB, personal best. I swim around 50 to 60 kilometres each week. I don't want to be the only black woman swimming for England. This is one of the reasons I co-founded the charity Black Swimming Association with Danielle Obe, Chief Exec, Ed Akura and Saren Jones in March 2020. The BSA's strategic plan, core mission, is to ensure people from African, Caribbean and Asian communities have an accessible, inclusive and safe experience in and around water. The BSA is partnered with Swim England the Swimming Teachers Association and in collaborative engagements with the Royal Life Saving Society UK, Nike Swim and London Marathon events. If I can inspire one girl or boy, anybody, to get into the water and give it a try, I've done myself proud, genuinely. That is the aim in it all. I have been highly placed in many national and international events since I started open water swimming when I was 13 years old over 10 years ago. At the end of 2019, I was voted by The Telegraph as one of the top 50 sportswomen of the year. I strive for excellence in and out of water. Outside of swimming, I'm a postgraduate currently studying for an MA in social media and political communication. This is another degree I have studied at Loughborough University. I've been in higher education for six years. In my initial degree, I gained a BA honours in politics with a minor in English. I have extremely full days with swimming practice, study and work, but balance is important, so when I have free time, I often play video games to unwind. In June 2021, I became the first black female swimmer to represent Britain at an Olympics. Team Great Britain confirmed my place to the Tokyo Olympics at a qualifying event in Portugal. I'm really happy at being the person to break this barrier. It's a really exciting moment for myself and for black history and black culture. At the same time, it's such a shame it took as long as 2021 to get to this point as a Great Britain Olympics team started in 1896.
it has just been decades of historical and cultural racism which has sadly seeped into the swimming community and swimming in general for quite some time. But like all athletes, I want to be known for my achievements, not just for my race.